I repeat, this is Lieutenant Sharon Garnett of ARC-1. Please respond. ARC-3, if you are in need of aid, please signal. It's been an hour. They didn't respond to your first hail. They're not going to reply to the 15th. Their rotation segments are still turning. You think they're still in cryo? I don't know what to think. I mean, why are they even here? Better question how are they even here? How are they ahead of us? We launched years before ARC-3. Oh, yeah. That part's impossible. What are you seeing, Bryce? Oh, you know, just the usual. Stars, vast emptiness of space, a great big bloody spaceship that shouldn't be here. It's the source of U-238 we detected. I'm gonna get a closer look. Yeah, I will be careful, Bryce. <laughs> Never. Are you enjoying this? You guys seeing this? Now we know our sensors picked up traces of the element that melted our hull. What do you mean the aluminium? So that means whatever hit us also hit Arc-3. We're sure it's the same element that hit us? Look at the disintegration pattern. It's consistent with how our hull was damaged. Nice look, Sharon. Yeah? I think I might keep it after my burns are healed. The breach in the Arc-3 is smaller than ours. Well, then safety should have locked it down and secured the rest of the ship. So why is no one responding? The only way to get answers is to board Arc-3. Are you volunteering? He's right. We don't have a choice. They have the U-238 we need to reach Broxby. I want to see their NIPs to figure out how they got ahead of us. When I'd love a crack at their database, we could find out what happened on Earth. No, no, no. You can monitor from here, or at least until we know it's safe. Agreed. You're staying put too, Sharon. You can hardly stand right now. Goes without saying, unfortunately. Grab whoever you need, but keep it small. I'll put up the shuttle. We launch in 30.